honestly, do you guys see this? This is lifestyle creep. It's bad. It's really bad. May is finally over and I'm done. Done with the lifestyle creep, I hope, because it got kind of out of control. Normally the way I do this is I go over the individual overages and then I look at each category and tell you how we did if we came in under or over. But this month I want to focus on lifestyle creep because it smacked us in a big way. We have been on the plan for a year now and it's not fun anymore. We're missing hanging out with friends, we're missing going out to dinner, and we are missing doing normal people stuff. And it's starting to show in our budget, and you know what? We need to be smacked down into submission and back on plan, and so that's what we are doing this month. So, let me show you a little bit of the lifestyle creep that creeped on into our budget this month. In our stores category, we had almost $100 over from a grocery store. Um, it was actually $94.22 that was not planned, and it was actually several grocery store expenses, like running out, thinking, okay, I'm just going to run out and grab this, or run out and grab that. Um, we got invited to a barbecue one night and so we ran out to Wegmans to grab a dessert and then we got invited to another barbecue and ran out to Wegmans because I didn't have time to make anything or I just, let's be honest, I had time. I didn't feel like it. So that's $95 in groceries that was not planned, not in our grocery budget. Super de duper annoying and 100% my fault. Then I, I had $200 in the Amazon budget this morning, this morning. I had $200 in the Amazon budget this month and I ended up about 93 something or other over that. And again, was it anything that I had to have? Let me be honest with you, I can't even tell you right now what I bought on Amazon that there were a few odds and ends things like Melina last minute needed Minnie Mouse ears for a costume for school that I hadn't planned on. That was, you know, whatever, $10. But most of it, there was nothing that couldn't wait. Well, not true. There was deodorant. Deodorant had to be bought. Um, toothpaste also, I think. No, no, that always comes from Costco. So deodorant and gel, I think, are two things that definitely got bought that needed to be bought. But that should have been covered in the normal $200 Amazon slash online budget. I don't know. I could tell you. In fact, let me tell you. Let me go ahead and open up my Amazon account and see what I spent $293 on. Seriously. Egg noodles. Barbecue seasoning. Oh, there was Mother's Day presents on there, but those were actually in the budget in another location. So maybe it's not as bad as I thought. A muddler. Why? Because Mauricio decided he wanted to make, or my mother convinced Mauricio, I should say, that he needed to start making um, mint juleps. And as I've mentioned before, Mauricio is a fantastic bartender, but you can't make a mint julep without a muddler. So I bought him a muddler. I know, not necessary. I got some dry erase markers for work. Oh, Mauricio's car mount broke, so he needed to buy a new one. That's kind of a necessity. I bought some nude color fishnet tights for um, work because I absolutely, I love wearing skirts, but in my job, I feel like, maybe I'm just ultra conservative, I don't know. I, I feel like bare legs in suits is completely inappropriate. It just, it's not me, but I also don't like wearing pantyhose and I think they look like old ladyish. So I got some like nude fishnet tights of all different sizes and that worked out perfectly, but it was, you know, like $20. Ah, I had to buy new t-shirts from Mauricio for underneath his shirts. That was expensive. And nail clippers. Okay. So legitimately stuff that we needed that we hadn't planned for. And in reality, the overage was actually not as bad as I thought it was because it did go, 
it went from our giving category for Mother's Day to the Amazon category. That's why our budget balanced. Huh. Moving on back to every dollar. And the last thing that put us over that this definitely, I don't know that I would call this lifestyle creep, but we don't usually put money in the budget for clothing, except for Melina. When she's about to hit a growth spurt, we'll put some money in there. But Mauricio and I don't get a clothing budget. If we need new clothes, it goes Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthday, Christmas, anniversary. That's when we get our clothes. And because Mauricio and I, one day I'll take in the closet, but we both have a crap ton of clothes. We do not need clothes. So if somebody wants anything in particular, we just wait for a major holiday. And so like Father's Day's coming, Mauricio needs some new summer t-shirts and that is what he'll be getting for, for Father's Day. <laughs> I know. It's a lame present, but we'll make them fun. I, um, I have some ideas for t-shirts that I want to get him. So, but Mauricio had a little bit of a blowout with one of his tennis shoes and the sole kind of came off. I don't know where that man is running, but yeah, he lost the sole. So we did have to buy him a new pair of running shoes and that was $105. Yeah, I know. I let him pick. My, my husband has expensive tastes. He's kind of high maintenance. Then in our other cushion category, well, guess what? I talked about these, some of these earlier this month in my mid-month budget update, but in case you didn't catch it, I'm gonna go ahead and go over them real quickly now. Um, towards the beginning of the month, Mauricio wanted to go out for wings with a friend of his, again, lifestyle creep, and that was $25, and I, I couldn't say no to it. He's been having such a rough time and we just shifted some stuff around in the budget to cover for it. So, you know, but it is not something I want to repeat. Then we had lunch out with Mia and Rob. And if you haven't seen that video, it was a super fun day. I will link that in the eye in the sky. It was so much fun going out with them, but lunch was $75. I, yeah, I'm not even going to go into how a bakery costs $75 because I seriously, I, it was a bakery. Yeah. Watch the video. You'll understand when you see it. I mean, Melina had pasta with butter on it. I mean, it was noodles and butter. $75. It, it's insane. So Mauricio again lifestyle creep this is major lifestyle creep this is wendy being lazy like i can't even tell you how many times i did not want to make mauricio's lunch at the end of the evening and because i make his lunches for the next work day the night before and i just did not feel like doing it so i would say hey can you eat out well hey can you eat out ended up being like 32 50 in fast food and that's on top of his blow money. And that boy gets $20 a week for blow money to eat out because that's what he likes to do with his blow money. So yeah, he went out a lot. So I have already started June by buying deli meat and making sandwiches. So I sent him to work this morning with a nice big turkey sandwich. Yeah, I'm getting back on track, back on track. I also had $6.43 left over, carried over from the previous month when I was eating out for work. And that just was a carryover. This month, Mauricio spent $9.50 in the vending machine. And that again is partially me being lazy and not feeding the man. I'm, I might be a bad wife. I don't know. Lifestyle creep. $14.43 for junk food stops for Mauricio. That's 7-Eleven, CVS, you know, wherever you choose to buy your random junk food during the day, a bag of chips or some dessert item or whatever. Parking meters was $2.38. I don't know how you get 38 cents on a parking meter. I really don't. It's an, I'm sure it's an Apple Pay thing and it's based on the number of minutes, but 38 cents, let's do whole numbers. At least make it a nickel or, and in a zero or a five. But 
38 cents, two dollars and 38 cents for parking meters. And don't know why I put this down here. This should have gone in the stores category, but CVS, we spent $50 for random sundries and allergy medicine. Allergies are bad in Virginia. I forgot how bad they are. So 50 bucks there. And then the last unplanned expense was $25 for new checks from my bank. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have any checks. And I probably have a stack of checks out in the storage unit, but can't get at them right now. So had to buy new checks. Super annoying, but had to be done. 25 bucks there. So let's go over each individual category because even though we did have a huge amount of lifestyle creep, truth be told, we were we were a little bit over with the budget, but nothing horrific. We moved money around and didn't pay as much to debt, unfortunately, but we still paid quite a bit to debt. So um, I was pleased with the amount we got to debt. Utilities, I planned 543 and it came in at exactly 543. So that is a win. And no, I am not going to put sound effects with my win. Just imagine in your head like a like a big ding. Yay! For the wins and for the failed, so you can go wah wah. <laughs> Transportation started out at 585 and it came in at 584.99. So we were right on the money with our transportation. Molina School started out as 15.89 and ended up at 15.79. The extra ten dollars, we're gonna call that even. But the extra ten dollars, we thought we were gonna have to pick Molina up late from school one day, and they do charge ten dollars for the afternoon extra. But we ended up not having to do that. So yay, win! The stores category started out at two hundred and forty dollars and ended up at. $533. That is such a mammoth fail that I can't even begin to tell you how bad that is. Insurance and taxes started out at $299 and ended up at $299. Woohoo! My miscellaneous category started out at $351.95 and ended up exactly at $351.95. Woohoo! Way to go for planning. The total debt payments you will see is a mat. Well, I don't know how you would do this. It's a win because we definitely paid over our minimum payments by by a lot. But at the same time, we ended up not putting as much as we thought we were going to towards debt. So it's supposed it was supposed to be five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars towards debt at the beginning of the month. And we finished up the month with four thousand eight hundred and eleven dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. It was four thousand eight hundred and ten dollars and sixty two cents. So a significant decrease in the amount towards debt because of a hundred percent lifestyle creep. So I'm calling that even though we still paid more than we needed to than you know what the bank required on our debt. I'm calling that a fail because we didn't hit our goal. So in our cushion category, we always start out with $100 and it ended up at 256. My lord, people, lifestyle creep. Not next month. June will be the month of awesomeness, awesomeness, awesomeness. Have I told you I'm a dork today? YouTube expenses 14.49 and we finished up right on target at 14.49. Medical expenses was 233 and we ended up right at 233. And sinking funds was 325, which is exactly where we wanted it to be. So all in all, I'm gonna call this month a fail because 100% lifestyle creep. Relatively speaking, you know, we didn't go into debt or anything like that, but we're getting slack. And if we continue on this path, we're going to add months in this process. And I don't want to add months. I want to be done with that. Done. Period. <clears throat> no more. So I think this month was a fail for us. A legitimate fail. Not even like uh, it was kind of bad, but I'm calling this a bad month. No, it wasn't like June of last year bad you know, where we ended up going into more debt, but it was bad. So 
the the month did end up well Mauricio mindset wise he's doing a lot better he's really made some decisions about his life so I think good things are starting to happen in that direction there are a couple of potential jobs coming down the pipeline so oh I'm just I, I just want him to do something that makes him happy so for now we are doing okay and next month June is gonna be even better it is not gonna be the June of 2016 it'll be the June of 2017 which is gonna be awesome okay I'm silly I am I'm gonna go ahead and put up two videos for you to keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!